In this episode, we're going to take a flight in the Vigan and employ the Maverick missile. Oh my god, what's happened? Oh, you, you made me Tokyo Drift. I thought you were landing oh. <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> I panicked. Not quite. Not uh -oh. quite. Oops. Oh, no! <laughs> the humanity. <laughs> oh, I'm still alive. That's not right. <laughs> oh. And yet another video will start with an exploding craft. Oh, here, I guess I can cover this while we're at it. So go to your F10 map. And you can see, obviously, I have stuff turned on because it's a training mission. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see that there's around G. GG46, there's some armor columns right there near Bullseye. Oh, yeah. All I'm going to do to put a flight plan in is click on the map, and I want this to be my attack hoi point, so I'm typing M2, and boom, there it is. And now, following the river to the right, there's an island kind of split, and that's going to be my B1. So I type B1, all caps, and 1, nothing else. And I just made two waypoints, so now when I go to my knee board mm -hmm. and you can scroll to the right until you see ground crew settings and now you hit left control left alt and c and that'll bring you through a uh, different uh, markers or pre-made stuff. So you oh, should see on F10 map by happy. Yeah. And there you go. So now you've got that selected there. So now you insert the cartridge 9099 and you're ready to go. And I already have the attack waypoint, so we don't need to make that into anything. It's that easy. <laughs> so what's really nice about that is if you're on a multiplayer server and you don't want to follow their pre-made waypoints that if they if they even do put any down mm -hmm. uh, and you're doing long strikes where you need to have accurate navigation you can just choose anywhere on the map like oh that island I want the very tip of that island to be my waypoint so if mm -hmm. I have some drift I can correct it by knowing you know it's the very tip of this island and if I see drift, like it's on the aft end of the island, I can either radar correct it or I can visually correct it. Uh, we can go over that at a later date. Boom. We've got a flight plan. We've got Mavericks on. Uh, let me go over what you need here. So uh, for Mavericks, I believe you can fire in NAV or uh, ANF. Okay. And then all you need to do is select the RB-75 on the weapon selector. In fact, we can ground test it too. So you select the RB-75. Okay. And now you uh, master arm on, and you should see your little TV screen turn on. Okay, yep. All right, so that's how you, uh, you can either aim it through the HUD. If you look on the HUD or if you raise the HUD, it might be easier to see there's a dot in the middle. That's bore sight of the Maverick. So you can either be very smooth on the controls and put that dot right onto a target and then... Yeah, so we need to map. What is the actual control called? Okay, so the actual control... Uh, you're going to need T1 fix and TV fix. I have that on my two-stage trigger. So what is T1 versus TV fix? Okay, so TV fix... Or sorry, T1 fix allows you to manipulate your radar or in this case manipulate the maverick so if mm -hmm. i just do the first stage and click it once and i have my maverick up that allows me to slew the maverick uh seeker around and then that tv screen is basically how you aim if you want to slew okay. um, normally you don't because it's kind of weird to slew while you're flying because mm -hmm. obviously all your movements are amplified in there but uh, you can do that, or if you're uh, using the radar, you press that once, and that'll allow you to move your waypoint. So you know how there's those circles there on your on your radar when you're navigating? Mm -hmm. 
So those are your waypoints. So if I press once, first stage trigger, it'll turn into a cross. I can then use radar stick slew up, down, left, right, and I can move that waypoint on the ground map. All right. So, but the other thing that I need to map is the radar stick. Oh yeah, yeah. Radar stick up, down, left, right. Radar stick. And that's yeah, that's on. strictly to move stuff on your uh, radar. It's basically like the uh, the cursor in a way. So, so if I go to TV, what does that do for me? Like TV is your it? lock. That's that's your final lock. So let's say you're flying around and you're not slewing the Maverick. What you're going to do is just pull the trigger all the way down. Don't worry about the first stage just because it passes through the first stage to gotcha. the TV lock right all away. Right, so if it's locked right now, how do I unlock it? So that you're going to need... T zero fix. Okay, so I've got a T zero. Okay, and it it bore sights it back. Yep. All right. So if you just ground test it right now, if you click the first stage, and now you yep. slew it around with your radar controls, you can see it moving, and then just hit that T zero to reset it. What does it look? Is it looking for contrast to lock on? Because now I can't get it to lock on. Yeah, anything. it's it's black hot, white hot. You won't lock on to anything right now. It, it well, has I, to be a I had it locked on. I had it locked on to something earlier, but I don't know what it was. Oh, it's a tree, a building, or some shit. Oh, it's a truck. Okay. All right, so let's let's review the bidding. Things that you need mapped for the Maverick. I'm gonna pull up my controls. We're gonna need our axis for radar stick horizontal and vertical. And then yep. we need T1, T0, and TV. Right. Yep. All right, so we need T1, T1 fix, which uh, basically allows us to slew it, TV fix, which should lock on, and then T0 fix, which should unlock it slash or sight it to the aircraft. So basically you just look at the dot Put it on what you visually see, press mm -hmm. the trigger, and then if you look down and to the right, you'll see that it's locked on on the TV because it uh, it widens the crosshairs, and also you'll notice it's staying on target while okay. you're maneuvering. You just got to kind of somewhat be smooth on the controls. Smooth is my middle name. And then to fire the next one, like let's say you were to fire one right now, to fire the next one, unsafe and back to, or sorry, safe, and then back to unsafe. Now you're ready for the next one. And then it's the same process to lock. Just press the trigger, fire, unsafe, safe, fire, unsafe, safe. It's, it's, you can fire all four off very quickly. Yeah, quick enough. We're in Vigans, we can go fast and then just hit the thrust reversers. fire in if you've locked onto something. But you can lock onto the same target obviously or you can lock onto a dead target so just keep that in mind. Okay. Nice, there you go. Okay. Uh, holding brakes powering up. Going to three after burner. So the, the Mavericks you're bringing right there, the T's, the RB75 T's, mm -hmm. are a slightly zoomed in version from the regulars. The other ones are even less zoom on the TV. But I think you'll find it's way easier to see them when you switch to, uh, to A2 mode. 
or the boresite. Having it white hot. Oh, there they are. Rifle. 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 I'm just, uh, number two behind you here for landing. Roger. Man, y'all are hauling ass. I'm trying to catch up to you, but... Stage three. Here we go. Transonic. You've gone trans? He's gone plaid. <laughs> yeah, so if you look in the top right corner of your cockpit area, there's two red kind of yeah. little lights. The left one fall to last means you fired every munition in a set uh, and the one to the right means you're going transonic and the reason that's a problem is if you're an autopilot or just flying in general it has adverse effects on the flight controls so you'll yeah. notice it like pitches up and it pitches down at random intervals stay left side Full thrust. <laughs> oh my god, what's happened? Oh, you, you made me Tokyo Drift. I thought you were landing oh. <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> I panicked. Not quite. Not oh. quite. Oops. Oh no! <laughs> the humanity. 